Hey everyone, this is Elias from Red Match Media, and today we have a fun one. It's tiny, but it's just packed full of fun. This is the 2020 Mazda Miata, so let's get started. This has been one that I've been wanting to get my hands on again ever since we did the uh, Texas Auto Roundup and I got to do a little bit of autocrossing in one of these. Um, it's one of those where you look back and you want to get back in one and you just remember these great fun memories. Uh, so let's get started. Uh, we have this, this bright red color. It looks so nice, it's, it shines, it really, has a beautiful shine to it. Uh, this is very similar to, I think it's the same color as the Mazda uh, 3 that we test drove before. Um, and it's really a, a rich color. It's, it's a rich but bright color in the sun. Uh, so it's definitely a great color to get. It's a little bit of a cop magnet, <laughs> but you'll see why this is not not a problem with the cops um, so we take a look at the front and we have that smiling face to it I, I guess it's like a catfish shark kind of look to it and this is definitely uh, gonna translate to you as well this little car is so much fun and it's gonna make you smile as well now this is optioned with what they call the front air dam with the red and black combination it definitely is a good look to it now let's go ahead and look under the hood now i gotta get low for this one um and that's what this this car really is it's it's really low car like overall it's a very low car um but when we look at the engine we are dealing with the 2.0 sky active uh inline four uh we're looking at 181 horsepower 151 pound feet of torque now we're not breaking that 200 mark but we don't need it this car is small this car is small and uh you know any little power is a lot of power um but you know this is connected to the six speed uh manual so thankfully we finally got a manual uh car and it's a lot of fun i've enjoyed i've been, i've had a lot of fun and it sounds mean this little guy is pretty impressive with the growl it has uh it kind of reminds me of the um the fiat uh the 500 abart um that it just has these little cars have so much character have so much growl um compared to some of these bigger sports cars that are super silent um so this isn't the quietest of engines uh and it's a good thing it really has it adds to the experience of what a roadster should be um but yeah it's it's i mean if you take a look at it it's a fairly easy uh car to work on you know we have the the manifold here which uh you know if you're feeling adventurous and you want to throw on the turbo uh, i'm sure there's tons of kits for that especially with this car being what it is um but yeah everything is very easy to get to you know we have power what looks like power steering over there uh you have your your uh, or actually this is washer that's coolant um air intake so very easy what you can probably just do an aftermarket intake if you'd like um but everything looks yeah, spark plugs so easy to get to uh, that's always such a uh, an incredible thing to to deal with nowadays when you have all these covers and all these things just on top of you know the engine to to make that inaccessible so it's just such a a simple car simple system like why why make it difficult right so this is definitely a fun uh little engine and it and it definitely puts down some good numbers even though it's not a, a lot but you don't need a lot in this you don't want to throw the balance off of this car now speaking about balance let's move over to the wheels these are the optional 17 inch bbs wheels um and they look nice again such a huge fan of the black wheels especially with the red combination um and i mean you have the classic bbs 
kind of design to it. Um, and these are wrapped, so 17 inch are wrapped in the 205, 45 uh, Bridgestone Potenzas. Uh, now, Bridgestone and I don't have a good good uh, relationship, but this has changed it. Uh, my, my Golf, when, I, when we bought it, uh, had a base model, I guess entry-level Bridgestones, and they were not very good. Um, so I had to swap those out. Uh, but these are making me change my mind. These were pretty grippy. Um, and I mean, it's the Miata as well. The suspension is very well set up, um, but these were great. They, the wheels themselves and the tires were not noisy. They're very smooth. Um, we did feel a lot, some of the road, um, you know, constantly, but with this car, I mean, that's what it is. You want to feel the road. You want to feel, um, you know, the, the little intricacies of what's going on with the suspension, with the tires, with the wheels and so on. Um, but it's a, it's a very good package. Would I recommend it? Yeah. If you just want to get a, you know, want to get the Miata right off the showroom, um, definitely. But obviously with the aftermarket, um, there's just so many options with this. Um, so it just depends if you, if you just want to buy and go or buy and modify. Um, but definitely a good package, beautiful package as well. And we have the Brembo brakes, a uh, nice red caliper on them. Uh, you know, it's, it's nice little color to match uh, uh, the car itself. And the brakes were great. The brake pedal was amazing. Um, it, it just very confidence inducing uh, brakes. So you were braking, 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 and the harder you brake, the better it breaks. Um, so uh, obviously it's, it didn't fade. I didn't feel any fading. Um, it had good pressure. The brake pedal was unbelievable. So these guys are a lot of fun. Now let's take a look at the side. It's a Miata. It's a Roadster. So we have that big front end relatively because um, it's not that big, but we have a, the, the big front end. We have the driver's position just slightly back than maybe your center or maybe a little bit forward than you get in, in some cars. But then you have the really short rear end. And that's the formula that makes a Roadster. And the Miata has been doing that for over, gosh, what, 30 years now? Um, it's, it's definitely still keeping up with that ratio, so to speak, or that formula. And it's even brought on some competition, which we've welcomed, the S2000. You know, it's, it's definitely spawned Honda to say, okay, let's bring this guy uh, into the market. Um, but this formula is so good, so simple, but yet so effective. Now we have the top down, um, and this is, so this is how it looks with the top down. Windows are all the way up, but it's very easy to actually, uh, you know, get the top back on literally one item and I'd have to lock it under there, but that's what it looks like. This is the soft top convertible. Um, so this isn't the RF. The RF does have the hard top um, and it has the, uh, this area here is hard top. Um, I believe it's just uh, this top area. I'm not 100% sure if, uh, if it's something you have to take off or, or if it comes back like this, but I don't mind this. I thought I was gonna, I thought it was gonna be one of those where it's like, oh, it's not an automated system. It's gonna be tough to open up, but not the case with this. It definitely works well and it's very easy to put away and take back up. Uh, and you know, you can do it from within the car itself. So definitely awesome. Let's move over to the back. We moved to the back and we have the trunk. So I like the fact that the convertible top stays here. It doesn't go into the trunk area because with convertibles, obviously that's always the issue where um, if you have the top down, forget about carrying anything. But that's not the case with this. Thankfully it stays there and with the Miata, you have the, the key fob, which you can open up and there's a good amount of space relative. First of all, it isn't, isn't the biggest car. Second of all, it's a sport, you know, two seater sports car. Third of all, it's a convertible. So you, there's some sacrifices to make. 
Um, but again, this isn't something where you're gonna be carrying, a, the, the purpose for this isn't um, you know, a cargo hauler, so to speak. Um, but it can do a good amount of work. Uh, now I have my camera bag in here and I can probably add another two camera bags, which is surprising when we've reviewed some SUVs that can barely hold my bag when you have the third seat. Granted, you're holding, what, seven people? But, you know, if you're hauling seven people, you're gonna need space for seven people. If you're hauling two people, you have space for three, which is incredible. That's actually something very surprising. I didn't think it was gonna happen. Um, so yeah, the only thing that I can't seem to find a button to open it up from the outside. So even if the key were nearby, um, there's no, yeah, I can't find a button. So you either have to have your key or you have to press the little key on the inside to get this open. Now this comes with the additional rear spoiler. So this little guy would be a definitely check on my list to add on. Definitely sets that line off. Uh, it sets the line and it just looks so much better with having that little addition to it. And with the black color, it's definitely a, uh, an awesome option. Now it's time to get in the car. I wanna show you guys. So it's a little tricky to kind of get in here. Uh, you do have to kind of angle yourself uh, to get in. Um, but once you're in, it's uh, pretty good to go. I'll go ahead and close this off. And uh, I mean, like I said, to open up the top, you literally grab this or, or lift that and you grab the top and there is just a little handle here that just hooks on and you're good to go. Well, uh, enough talking. <laughs> this little thing sounds so mean. Yeah. I think it's time for us to go for a drive. So you get in this car and <laughs> it's a little tough to get in, uh, not gonna lie. I'm not the smallest of guys. Uh, shortest, yeah, I'm a little short, um, but this is also short, uh, also really low. And you, because I'm short, I have to move the seat a little fairly forward. Um, and it doesn't leave much room for kind of the, the supercar or sports car slide that you gotta do. Um, so I've, I've found certain ways to, to kind of get in there, uh, change it up to see which one's the best. Um, but you get in this and immediately you realize why this thing has been so successful, why this little car is so much fun. The cult following, I, I wouldn't even call it a cult following, I would call it an everything, everyone following because it's, it's Everyone loves a little Miata. Um, and if you don't, something's wrong with you. Uh, but it's, it's so much fun um, and it just puts a smile on your face. Uh, let's get started with the kind of nitty gritty of things. The seats, again, me not being the smallest of guys, they're the Recaro option. So I'm sitting in it and the, the really high bolsters are picking at my love handles. They're definitely telling me, hey, uh, ease up on the tacos and brisket. Um, but it's not uncomfortable. I can, to be honest with you, I can I can really deal with with this. If you're smaller, this is gonna be perfect for you. Uh, it'll, it, it feels comfortable. You know, you're upright and, and it just works. Great leather wrapped steering wheel. It feels amazing. Uh, you know, it's, it's just like the, like the uh, Mazda 3 that we had. You know, great design to it. When we take a look at the gauge clusters, this is simple. Simplicity at its best, really. Don't really expect a lot of technology or a lot of gadgets, gizmos, and gimmicks because this doesn't have it and it doesn't need it and you don't want it in this. And in the center, you have a big tachometer, um, which is, you know, very race inspired what you want. You know, you are gonna be focusing on that. Um, make it nice and big. Heads up display none in here again gadgets gizmos and gimmicks you don't need it here um would it be nice i don't want it in this that's not what this car is um so this definitely has uh again just an that analog uh 
tachometer, really nice and big. You're able to see it. Uh, it does have a digital gear uh, selection, so you can see what gear you're you're currently in, uh, which is a nice, you know, nice little thing. If you didn't know already that, uh, you know, you're in a certain gear, and as you can tell, I am in the uh, manual. This is the six-speed uh, option, and it is a lot of fun. We come over to again now a little bit of the of the entertainment um very simple system 99 percent of the times you're probably going to be using your carplay uh so it does have that um and then not much else so it does have the x you know sirius radio xm that that kind of uh setup um but the screen is small it's fairly it's a good size you don't want something overpowering just this it's a fairly small small interior because again it's a it's a roadster it's not going to be a a big you know sedan or anything like that but it has that entertainment system and like i said it works well uh you come down to the knob that you're that you use to move it and to move the options and it's great i love the fact that it gives you two options it gives you the option of spinning the dial or using it as a joystick so that was something that was that was good i liked that I like that uh, that it had that option and we have your climate control extremely simple again it's it does the job and that's what you want it to do you don't want it to be uh you know having to fumble through menus and you know because it's it's a little it's a roadster it's a nice little it's a driving car it's a driving car uh, i'm not saying that it's uncomfortable you know you're not going to sacrifice anything because you're really not but it's simple why do you need to have all these different, you know, buttons to to show you this type of climate. Oh, we're gonna do this fancy thing to the air. No, no, just just give me uh, just give me, you know, the temperature, how how strong you want it to be, and where you want it to to go. And that's what this these three knobs do. It, that's it. That's all you need. Uh, come down a little bit more. You have the uh, heated seats. So this does have heated seats, not vented seats, which would be nice um but again i'm it, it's a lot harder to to route venting than it is um to do you know just the the heated elements um and you have down here you have the usb connections uh you have two here uh i think that's all we have as far as as usb but that's fine i mean it's two of you you're you're not <laughs> unless you're needing to charge eight devices this is not the car for you um but you know you have those two connections um and then you come down to the shift knob it's nice and round i love the the little feel to the to the ball that this has uh it's leather wrapped and it's a six speed so it's very comfortable the throws are fairly short uh you know that's i, I was <laughs> very surprised by how short they were um so that feels great the only thing though is this guy can vibrate uh that's one of the things because the transmission is is mounted here literally on top um it has a tendency like if you're in in stop and go traffic it will it can vibrate it can vibrate a good amount um something that you know can be a little uh it can be overlooked maybe i would say uh so you have that then we have uh you know we have a parking brake and we have a parking brake handle it's not electric it's it's an actual handle there is a compartment here in the front for like a phone but it's it's weirdly shaped so it starts off like this but then it goes in it, it goes it inclines which is weird because that's going to make your phone come back out i would think you would do a decline so you can kind of shove it in there and it stays in there so my phone is not in there and it makes it a little tough to, to kind of have it there. So I have to have it here. And because my phone is bigger, an iPhone 8 Plus, um, it doesn't give me the option. You know, this, this little area is not the biggest. So it's kind of, it's not in there, but it's in there. Um, so yeah, uh, then you actually have your compartment back here. This is actually your, essentially your glove, glove box. Uh, so you can put your things in there and so on. And that's another thing with this car it's not the quietest it's not going to be the quietest it doesn't have a lot of soundproofing um you know you're going to hear the wind coming in it's a it's 
it's a soft top convertible it's a small roadster it's a it's a low roadster so all of these little things add up to it that are gonna make it noisy for everyday use um it, it, it might it might have me teetering on whether this would be something to get or not for that um for a weekend car hells yes <laughs> you know you definitely want to you definitely want to have this on a weekend car um to drive it like this and it's nice outside it's actually 67 degrees outside uh which with the top down would be great but again you guys wouldn't be able to hear me all you'd hear is um but you know those are little things that you can over you can overlook looking under the hood we have the 2.0 liter inline four and it has 181 horsepower with 151 pound feet of torque and this thing feels zippy like it really first of all it sounds great it sounds unbelievable when you really get it up there in the rpms it screams <laughs> it really wants you to keep going and keep going and keep going so it it sounds it sounds way better than the mazda 3. um you know we we were comparing that saying that that's like a four-door miata um but it's way more refined which yeah it's great and all but this has just so much raw um just kind of feel to it and and that exhaust with the with the engine just sounds sounds so good and the rpms just climb and climb and climb um so it has it has a good amount of power it also has this feel so when you're really going up there and you're you know first gear second gear red line and you're like whoa i am going way too fast or it feels like you're going way too fast you look down at your speedometer and I guess you can call it the Miata effect. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll crown that, the Miata effect, where you're, you think you're hauling ass, but, you're, but you look down and you're doing about this, the speed limit. It feels like you're going way faster. So it's the Miata effect where, um, think, let's do some math. So whatever speed you think you're going, subtract 20 miles an hour, because that's most likely the speed that you actually are going. It's not a bad thing because I've been in super, you know, and way faster cars that have no feeling. They're just fast. And, but it's, it has, it doesn't give you the smile. Sure, I love going fast and all, but I, you know, I'd rather drive something that isn't as fast, literally, but just feels incredibly fast. And that's what this is. So again, the, the Miata, formula subtract 20 miles an hour to what you think you're going and that's most likely what you're going but it's a it's it's a fun experience it definitely is a great feeling uh to it and it, it'll it'll save me from some speeding tickets i'll say that now let's talk suspension um it's a little harsh uh but i mean that's what this is this is it's gonna be more of a of a sports car it's a roadster um you're not going to be floating like a cadillac um and so uh, again it is a little bit on the harsher side which you can probably see from that camera moving up and down uh that's a little bit of a bigger camera so any small vibration um is seen more than this one this one's a gopro which is tiny and you know the mount isn't as as a uh, you know it's bigger than the actual camera itself um so it, it does have some you know you feel some vibration uh but it's fine because once you find a smooth road it's pretty good and then you get some bumps and then you get to a smoother road and it's perfectly fine it you know it it's great and with the uh and with the 17 inch bbs options on the bridgestones this feels great uh you know i as soon as I got this, I got I went out to have have some fun with it, and uh, I decided, hey, let me take off traction control for a bit, and you can get this little guy sideways, even though it doesn't have the most power, like in the world, so to speak. Um, but you know, it's it's a small package, so it's easy to 
you know, you can really get it sideways. I decided, okay, let me turn it on with traction control and push the traction control to the limits. And dear God, was this amazing. Like it, it had such a great like feel to the, to the traction control. It just let it slip ever so lightly uh, enough to, to give you your grin on your face, but keep you really, really safe. So I felt very under control, extremely under control, but it still felt like a driver's car. So, um, so you know, it, it wasn't, it didn't feel like I was being limited. The car didn't kind of choke itself of power to, to stop it from going out of control. It, it just had the exact amount you wanted to. And it's been amazing. Like that, that, that traction control button is, is programmed so damn well it's on the whole time um and it you know it just you know you have that peace of mind that security uh there if you're you know your talent runs out um especially in a miata because you want to push it and push it and push it more um but yeah it's, it's definitely been an awesome feel just kind of the overall feel of the car has been unbelievable the power delivery is is awesome um could it use more power of course uh you know you can always use more power but keeping the balance is the important thing keeping the feel how it feels you know making sure that it, it is within control and you know or, or just slightly uh, out there to have fun with it um but i can see why this car is is in so many see i know i can see why this has its own racing series there's so many racing series based off this and as we always know, Miata is the answer. Miata is always the answer. And I and I finally know why. I finally know why, because this feels so amazing. It feels so incredible. It's so much fun. And even with the traffic that I've been dealing with here, um, granted a little frustrated because I want to have fun with it, but it works very well as a, I, I think, it works very well as an over everyday car. Can I get over the the sound, the you know, the wind noise? Sure. You know, Bose system in here, crank up your music, you know, drown out the, the wind and you're fine. Seats are a little uncomfortable for me. Uh, lose some weight. <laughs> you know, this car is gonna make you a better person. It's gonna make you want to get in shape, which I, I probably am going to after this, really, you know, focus on that. Um, and, you know, it makes you want to be a better person. How can a car do that? How can a car make you a better person? This can. And and it's, it's really an amazing little car. All my friends were excited that I had this. Um, but you know, Miata is always the answer and I can see why. I love it. It's been a blast to drive. It sounds so good. Uh, it really does. It screams. Um, you know, I, I miss having a, you know, a test car with a manual transmission. Yeah, these automatics are fun. You know, you get to have really fast uh, shifting, but there's something about you just kind of being in control and just having a good time just rowing those gears and yeah I'm not really going that fast it feels like it but I'm not going that fast but again it keeps me out of trouble and I definitely think everyone should experience a Miata at some point I mean when I grew up uh, when I was growing up in my neighborhood there was a house that had two and a Miata so first generation Miatas there was a blue one like that kind of like sky blue um, you know light sky blue color and a red one it was a his and hers i know you know we would always see the couple coming out and uh you know just seeing those as a kid it's like well those are little cool cars and you know now being able to drive test drive one myself it's been awesome you know i've, I've had a lot of fun in this um but who is this for uh granted it is a two-seater so you have to take into consideration the the amount of people you're going to be with uh, in the sense of family, that kind of stuff. So this isn't going to be your family car. That's not what it is. And that's not what Mazda made this for. 
uh, it made this to have fun, make this the weekend car where you're, you know, you're enjoying this. And, you know, if it's you and another person, so I did want to, uh, I did want to put my kid in, in the front because you can, uh, you can put the seat, uh, baby seat in the front. Uh, you turn off the, um, you know, the passenger airbag off for safety. Um, but wife didn't let me and now that I look at it, I might not be able to because of the way that the seat doesn't recline. Um, but you know, so, so depending on the seat that you're getting, if you have an older kid, that's great. You know, he'll definitely have fun with you. Um, if it's you and, and another significant other, that's great. If it's just you, that's even better. You know, you get to have fun or actually, no, you want to share this. You want to share this with others. Um, but yeah, it's, it's definitely makes for a great weekend car. If you want to take this out on the track, you can, it's, it, it's super, uh, you know, this again, it's the Miata is the answer. Uh, it's not the cheapest. It's this one's at about 30,000 or so. Um, so just be prepared for that about, yeah. So, you know, be ready for that. It's, I, I get it. It's a new car. Um, you know, prices are going to be going up and I know people are going to say, well, you can get a Miata for a lot cheaper. Yeah, you can, but it's going to be 10, you know, 10, 20 years old. Um, and you know, this one is, I, I love this. I mean, this is great. And, I, and I'm sure those are great as well. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's like I said, it's definitely the answer. Uh, if you want to have some fun, especially in the sun, you can have the top down and just have a good time. It's, it's definitely an amazing, amazing feeling car. Well guys, I figured I'd give you a taste of what it's like to have it in convertible. Uh, I'm not going to do the whole review like this, obviously, as you can see why. Um, it is, like I said, it, it is a little bit louder when it comes to just kind of the, the wind noise. Trying to see what's better with the windows up or down. Uh, looks like windows up is the best option. All the way up. Um, but yeah, it's actually really easy to put the top down. It's not, you know, it's just one little button here on the latch uh, and just literally toss it back and you're good to go. But uh, yeah, we're gonna just do one pass. This thing is so much fun. And now with the top down, <laughs> I think it's even better. Uh, this, is, this is the most I've driven with the top down just because, uh, I don't know. I just, I'm not used to a convertible, um, but I can get used to this. It's definitely a lot of fun. Um, it feels great. Oh, the, you know, the weather right now is, is so nice. Man, this is a blast. Oh my gosh, I feel like a little kid. You definitely feel like a little kid. Man, this feels so good. Did I mention this feels good? Oh, one thing I forgot to mention, the, the pedals, the pedals feel so good in this. The, the clutch, the clutch feels incredible. I can, I know, you know, when the clutch is going to engage, even though, did I stall it? Yes. <laughs> it's just one of those things of like, you know, you're getting used to a, uh, got some traffic. Uh, you're getting used to the car. Um, but you know, the, the clutch feels incredible and you also have the brakes. The brakes feel so, you know, um, the brakes feel so confidence inducing. Uh, what I mean by that is I'm braking, I'm braking, I'm braking. And the whole time 
I know the car is going to stop because it's not a big car. You don't need big brakes in this, um, but it feels like massive brakes. And that's the good thing about, about this is that, you know, everything just works well together, but the brakes are, you know, nice and firm and I'm just pressing, pressing, and I know it's going to stop and it is stopping. Uh, I'm not kind of having an, you know, an old that moment where you know my pedals feeling weird or anything like that it definitely feels safe and the gas pedal is just so much fun obviously you know you're able to just uh you know blip it if you want to rev match it so that's really really easy and it and it works so well in this and of course you it's positioned incredibly to be again a race car not much you need to do to change this to take it out on the track. I mean, obviously your cooling, you have to be careful with the brakes always, uh, you know, with fade, um, but it's just a really good package. I was surprised. And again, this feels awesome. This feels incredible with this, you know, overall package. It just wants you to give it more and more and more and more and more. It's just so much fun. But again, you look down at the speed and you're not going that fast. Again, take away those 20 miles an hour. And that's, that's definitely the, uh, the speed of the Miata. Well guys, I hope you've enjoyed my review of the Mazda Miata and we've had a blast driving it and we hope you you know someday get to experience a, a Miata whether it's any generation I'm sure the feeling is is the same across every Miata generation because the formula is so easy the formula is so easy and uh, you know, small car, good enough power, nice balance, rear wheel drive, and lots of smiles. <laughs> That's really the formula. Well, like I said, guys, hope you've enjoyed my review. Um, and remember, find the right gear.